Hi, it's Jack from Engineering Gear, and today I'm just going to be talking about a small problem that you might think you have with your Roadster. So basically, well, your engine is running fine, but when you actually try to move it, it's moving very little. But today, I found out a problem that you might be having. So inside here, there's inside behind the wee black wheel, there's a screw, and if you tighten that, it tensions and it all. Because before, um, the wee black disc was moving, but the wheel itself wasn't. So if you try tensioning that, that should make it go a lot better. And I'll just show a video of that after this. And this is the watch glass um, version. So that will hopefully fix yours. And if there's any other problems, comment them. Um, I'll show the video of it run before and after now. So this is it with the screw loosened, so see how easily it runs now and moves, so it's struggling to move, even if I push it, I can't even get it to move, which is pretty disappointing when you first get it, because you expect when you're spending that sort of money that you're going to get something that works first time, and you try and look and you can't find why it's doing this and why we're not moving, we're moving the flywheel really quick, and if we lift it, Creating the pressure, so why isn't it actually moving very quick? So what you need to do is turn off your engine and then get a flat screwdriver. So I'm gonna go get mine. So in here, there's a wee screw. You can just about see it there, there it is. And we're just going to tighten that up. Making sure that's quite tight. The reason why I'm wearing these gloves is protect my hands because even though it's a steam engine it's you're doing with boiling water so and you don't want to be scalded by it okay so that's it fully tightened so now we're gonna try it and see how well it works so it's moving by itself so this is quite an uneven surface, so that's why it's not running great, but if I just lift it, it wants to move, and it's much better now. If I had a more flat surface, I could show you this better. That's it now. A big difference compared to what it was before, it was barely even moving. So on... Uh, a more flat surface, this would run better, but these are uneven tiles. So it's going by itself now, instead of before when it wasn't. So we'll let some steam build up again. So that makes such a huge difference. It's hard to see on camera because this is uneven and it's having to go through go over loads of bumps. So basically what was happening before is that the this wee black wheel was spinning, but this wasn't. It was spinning separately, but now they're spinning together, as you can see. So this is the Mammoth Roadster steam engine. I did a video on this, um, showing this before and it wasn't running as well in that video. So you can hear the difference.
and if you want, you can judge from that how much more you need to tighten it. So we'll just check that this is definitely tight enough. There. The difference it makes when it wants to move, if it wasn't hitting these bumps at the start, it would be running to a lot better than it is now. But um, I'll just show it going downhill now, how quick it was compared to what it was before.